one major concept that was introduced in my previous video about voltage controllers was THD or total harmonic distortion in electrical circuits. Now in this video, I'll be explaining to you what that actually means and we'll also have an overview of what harmonics are. Let's get into it. So first of all, what is a harmonic? In wave theory, a harmonic is simply a waveform that has a frequency which is a positive integer multiple of an original wave, usually referred to as fundamental frequency. Typically, the original waveform is referred to as the first harmonic of the wave, whereas the other integer multiples are referred to as higher harmonics. Say for example, you have your typical AC signal of 60 hertz. Now examples of harmonics of this particular waveform would include 120 hertz, 180 hertz, 240 hertz and upwards. Now obviously the presence of harmonics are very important otherwise there'll be no point of making this video anyways. Oh my god that was so funny! <laughs> The presence of harmonics in electrical circuits usually distort the original signal, which usually result in reduced performance of energy generation, transport, and usage systems, as well as the premature aging of insulation on certain grid components. Harmonics can also degrade system components, which in turn could reduce the overall functionality of a system. Now, a typical distorted AC signal, when measured, looks something like this. Using some Fourier analysis, this waveform, however, is simply made up of several harmonics of the signal, which have resulted in the distortion of the original signal. Now let's break that down. A functioning AC supply will provide a very clean 60 Hz voltage signal, as shown here. Assuming no harmonics are present in the circuit, we should observe the same clean signal at the output. Now note that this signal could be the voltage or current measured after transmission. Let's say we have a second harmonic present during transmission. This waveform will have a frequency of 120 hertz, which is simply twice the frequency of the fundamental waveform. The resulting output signal will be a sum of the fundamental waveform and the second harmonic, which looks a bit different from the fundamental waveform. In a particular system, there is always multiple harmonics. So for example, a fourth harmonic or a 15th harmonic will have the same effect on the fundamental first harmonic. Now, although we can still observe the fundamental frequency from the final waveform here, having a signal that is free from harmonics is usually the preferred option when designing a circuit. If you're finding this video valuable, smack the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, since we live in an imperfect world, it's almost impossible to get rid of these harmonics, but understanding the origins of these could help us reduce the effects. Now, there are two types of harmonics which are classified based on the types of signals we can have in a circuit. The first one we'll talk about is current harmonics. In an AC system, the current exhibits a similar sinusoidal behavior as our AC source. A linear time invariant load, such as a resistor, will draw a sinusoidal current which has the same frequency as the source voltage. A non-linear load, however, will cause distortion in the current. Now, the main reason why we see a distortion in the current is because the current that is drawn is not exactly sinusoidal, but rather a much complex waveform. Examples of non-linear loads include transistors and diodes. Now, some higher level examples of non-linear loads include fluorescent bulbs and battery charges. Charges. The second type of harmonics is voltage harmonics. This is usually caused by current harmonics as the supplied voltage is distorted by the non-sinusoidal current flow due to the source's impedance. When the source impedance is small, the current harmonics cause very small voltage harmonics. Now onto the last topic of this video. What is total harmonic distortion? The simple definition of THD is that it's the degree of distortion due to current or voltage harmonics present in the signal. It is usually represented as a percentage and is a ratio of the RMS value of all harmonics to the RMS value of the fundamental components. The RMS values can be currents or voltages. If you'd like to see a question solved on total harmonic distortion, check out this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.